Good morning everyone, this is Allison at Rogers Aquatics on Friday, February the 5th, uh, 2021, and we're going to do an updated fish tour. It's been a little while since we've had a chance to do this. Uh, so first off down here we do have a couple sizes of clown loaches, one African brown knife fish who's probably still hiding, it's, uh, one, a couple of datnoids, and red shoulder severums. Before I go any further, uh, in case anyone has been wondering what this black monstrosity is here beside the first set of tanks, uh, this will be our new beta setup. Uh, we're not quite ready to go live with this yet as we did have a little shipping damage, so we're waiting for some replacement parts. Uh, so we'll have dividers along here and be able to place betas in individual sections with a long tang at the bottom for females with sump in the back, so everybody will be on a proper recirculating system. Uh, it's going to be much improvement from where we're at now, and where the betas currently are, we're looking at doing an expansion of our shrimp collection. Uh, next up, we've got some rainbows, sunshine plecos, pearl grammys, and a couple of turquoise rainbows that look really nice. Let's see if we can find the sunshines. There they are. Up above, a uh, new arrival here. Uh, we've got some pipe fish in. Not quite ready to go yet. We want to get these guys eating. They can be a little bit of a finicky eater. A few Florida spotted gars left. Next up, we do still have a few gold Denisoni barbs. Their tails are a little beat up, uh, but they are regenerating. We also have rummy nose tetra. Red laser rainbows. A few of them starting to show a little bit of red on their tail now. Uh, in one of the planted tanks, we've got the Neon Dwarf Rainbow, we've got Millennium Rainbows, Splendidas, and Yellowtail Congos, as well as our Tropica 1-2 Grows. We also have some red root floaters available as well. Some great red color on there. Down in the 499 tank, there are some Bosmani females and some locally bred angels. We did just get a 499 shipment of plants yesterday. Mar just got us all set up and ready to go. Those are ready to go now. Next up, more 499s. Uh, we've got some Fletcher Creek rainbows, some more angels. Up above, we've got, I believe, one or two of our checkerboard discus still on sale. They're $69.99. And Lake Tabera rainbows. Up top, we do have a few neon tetras that are ready to go and moss balls. Next door, we have some amazing locally bred uh, discus. Uh, the tigers have all sold, but we still have orange melon and some blue diamond crosses. Ooh, they're waking up here. I got startled them a little bit. Down below, we've got one, oh, couple flame grammies, uh, lemon tetra, kamaka rainbows, Red Phantoms, and Notrophus Crosomus. Those are the little guys there. Down below, we've got Gold Diamond Angels and a couple of Marble Angels, as well as some Parkinsoni Rainbows. Shrimp Wall, we've got some Red Tiger Shrimp. We've got Cherries, Chocolates, Red Rillies, a few black crystals, some gold backs, orange fire sakuras, I think it's just a couple of those left, and we've got blue dream there. We've also got a few more further down the wall. We did get a huge uh, shipment of about 25 amazing koi placats. They're in great shape. Most of them are already bubble nesting and ready to go. They're all a good size. Uh, we have a few crown tails and veil tails as well available at the moment. And again, these guys will be moving over to our new sump system, hopefully within the next couple weeks. Uh, so we did get a large shipment in on Wednesday night, and they won't be ready to go probably till the end of the weekend for any of the ones that aren't being medicated. Uh, the ones that are being medicated will probably be next weekend that they're ready to go. Uh, so if you see under quarantine signs, that means they're not ready to go yet. Uh, we'll hopefully be updating an updated fish list on Monday, which will show what's being released. 
Uh, but please don't ask this weekend for any of these guys that are under quarantine. We won't release them yet. So some beautiful black angels. We've got galaxy rasboras, golden honey grammys, and thread fins. Glow light tetras, orange seam plecos, and dwarf chain loaches. Uh, new arrivals, uh, some dwarf rasboras. These guys are the little red guys. They're starting to color up. Uh, we also, in the new arrival batch, got some naked rasboras. Down in the 40 gallons, we've got the Queen Arabesque Pleco somewhere in there. Uh, we've got orange Venezuelan Cories left. We've got Adelphoi Cories, Habgood Rainbows, and a few Bolivian Rams. We've got a couple of Buffalo Heads left. We've got lots of Polka Dot Cactus Plecos. Uh, a Pisto McMastery. I believe there's three left in here somewhere. There they are. And Lake Winam, which was the Emerald Rainbow. Small and medium feeders as usual. Next up, we've got the Monte Dorado Pleco, the Electric Blue Jack Dempsey, the Blue Flash, and a Tiger Stripe Silver Dollars. They're a little bit small at the moment. Up above, we still have a few of those beautiful Platinum Half Moon Dumbo Betas, females. Harlequin Rasboras, as well as Halloween Mollies. Next door, we've got Rosy Tetras, we've got Albino Cories, just a few. Uh, False Zebra Plecos, I think there's one, there he is. And some Crebenzis in there as well. Up top, we've got some Sturby Cory that are good to go, and Leopard Danios. New arrival, not ready to go yet, but we got some long fin panda cories. It's hard to see the length of the fins, but they look really great. Uh, Fountain blue daisy rice fish and black coolie loaches. We got some Madagascar rainbows that aren't gonna be ready till next week. We did get a batch of marble hatchets. We've had a hard time getting a hold of these guys lately, but a really nice batch. These are ready to sell. Some serpes and also some polka dot loaches group of assorted swords. We've got males and females still. Uh, new batch not ready to go of the Parkinsonis and Price's rainbows. Uh, new batch of some platies and mixed guppies. Some male and female guppies that are okay to go. New batch of fork tail rainbows. And another batch of stir by that'll be ready by the time the other batch sells out. Uh, down below, we've got some orange, really, shrimp. I think there's just a few left. Oh, of course, they're all at the very back, but we're not going to be able to see them well. Uh, zebra nearites, black Venezuelan cories, and other nearites. A new batch of golden rabbit snails, and black bee cardinia shrimp. Let's see, is there any cardinia riding with the snails? There's one. There he is. Uh, these guys should be ready to go by Monday or Tuesday. They're all looking pretty good at the moment. Uh, we still have a few rock shrimp good to go, and some of the samurai grammys, and more orange fire sakura. We've got the Asian stone catfish, which uh, in personality is a lot like the banjo catfish. Seems to be a little hardier though, and is out a little bit more. Uh, high fin pepper cories, these are okay to sell at the moment. Our pygmies are part of this new arrival batch and not quite ready, uh, but we do still have some pygmies from our last batch that are good to go in this tank, along with some beautiful male guppies. Glowfish, uh, we've got a few colors left at the moment. Hopefully we'll get another batch of those this week. And in this tank, we've got some python eels and fire eels. There's one sticking his head out. Next door, what have we got here? Uh, we did get a few black relancer catfish in and some Delhezi beachers. There they are. Next door, we've got two albino silver arowanas left. Up above, we've got gold laser quarries and blue jelly shrimp. Few dwarf aquatic frogs, ember tetras, and emerald green cories, 
some black mollies, and still a few dwarf lobsters. Blue dream, some cappuccino spike snails, and some Pinocchio snails, which are like in a mono. They won't breed in fresh water. Uh, and they are an algae eater. We've got some goldbacks and cherries in there as well. New shipment, we got clown plecos and some small Petricola synodontis. We've got kissing grammys, uh, emerald dwarf rasboras, not quite ready. Some female veils and comb tails. Royal twig catfish and hangali rasboras. New batch of green neons, not quite ready. And some snakeskin barbs, not quite ready. One lonely killifish left here, and there's some striped coolie loaches in there. Some beautifully locally bred silver mollies. A uh, new batch of red shoulders. They won't be ready till next weekend, not this weekend. We've still got a few of the cockatoo pistos left. The males are just stunning in this batch. Uh, in this tank, we've got a few different barbs, checkered, tinfoil, tigers, golds, rainbow sharks, and there's a few apricot uh, crayfish lobster guys in here. Uh, most of them are down next door. Uh, did we miss these guys? We did. Uh, golden cloud, plecos, the African leaf fish, T-bar sicker, sick cichlids sorry guys and gold tiger plecos down here all good to go next door we have albino thread fins they've been here a few weeks looking really good along with the electric blue acaras and some small bushy nose uh, we've got black ghost knives as well as albino Sen senegal features next door we've got stardust plecos uh, we've got L398, we've got Trumpet Osa Knife Fish, and one Gold Nugget hiding in there as well. <coughs> Next up, more of the Apricot Lobsters. There's also still some of the Blue Moon Type 2s in here. Uh, we've got Crebenzis, Denisoni Barbs. I think that's everybody in here right now. We got some horse-faced loaches in. Not quite ready to go. We want to let these guys settle in and make sure they're eating. I don't know. I think it might be a face only a mother could love. Uh, pea puffers still available. Uh, we got some mini snowball plecos. So these guys get a max of three to four inch. They are not an algae eating pleco. They are carnivorous. Uh, new tiger barbs not quite ready. Some more rummy nose and harlequins, yo-yo loaches and albino cories. New batch of Elmano shrimp, those would probably be released today. Next door, part of our new shipment, we got some red Reuben peacocks, also black widow frontosas, and there's some upside down catfish still in this tank. You have to excuse my budgie friends next door, they are excited I'm here this morning. Next uh, part of this new shipment, we did get a lot of cichlids in. Uh, we've got red flush and sulfur heads in this tank. Uh, new fish in this one, we've got some OBP clocks, uh, Friedbergs. There's still some Denisonis and Oscillateds and some Rostratus. In the big boy tank, oh, looks like Danny's had to put a lid on. Somebody's been jumping. Oh, we got, we got some clown loaches. I'm gonna guess it's them. Uh, Nicaraguan cichlid males, jewels, red shoulders, fire mouth, leopard sail fin pleco, and regular silver arowanas as well. Ah, that's why the lid's on. Uh, next door, these guys are good to go. We've got purple blood parrots. There's one spanner barb here. Marbled headstanders and some bushy nose plecos. Up above, uh, we've got tangerine tigers, star sapphires, lemon jakes, and albino eureka reds. Up in the big boy tank, not too many big boys other than our King Kong friend. Uh, we've got Bacordis, we've got one big King Kong. Briadori, Starry Nights, and one Salvini, apparently. There's our big boy. 
He needs a hole. Uh, we've got some Dickfeldi Juliochromas, more Frontosas, and Bicolor 500 Peacocks. This is part of our new batch, so probably won't be ready till next weekend. Uh, we've got Bumblebees, we've got Sunshines, we've got Dragonbloods, and five Bar Cichlids. These guys look a little bit like a Frontosa, but don't get as large. If you'd like to see one uh, a couple years old, there is one in our display tank up front. Next door, we have some assorted kind of leftover peacocks from our last shipment. Gold Compressiceps and Lemon the Loopies, Exasperatus, some Brevis Shell Dwellers, and a few Albino Julio Chromas. Uh, we've got Yellowhead Nakata Bay Peacocks and a couple Red Empress. Sunshine Peacocks and Malawis and Protomelis and Swallowtails. This is our female tank, so everybody here is discounted to $4.99. And if you need some females to kind of fill out a tank, or you want to do cichlids and you want something a little bit cheaper to maybe do some cycling with, or you're looking for a partner for someone you got. Uh, we've got some Malawi hawks that were actually born here in store and have sized up really nicely. And some other hybrid peacocks uh, that we don't want to put a type to, but we're pretty sure they're a Eureka with an otter point. They were brought in by a customer. Uh, we've got a few larger comets and some black moors up top. Uh, we're a little thin on the goldfish. I should hopefully be getting another shipment of goldfish this week. While I've got everyone's attention, I am just going to go take us over to a couple of the fish aisles to show you a couple of new products that we've got in and available now. We'll get away from my budgie friends. So... Uh, would have helped if I turn the lights on, but we're here nice and early. So we do now have German breeding rings available in two sizes and two types. So these guys float in your tank and connect to an air stone to help aerate the area and pull fresh water through. Or there's a little bit bigger version with a small jet lifter on the bottom to kind of tumble your eggs. Uh, we also have matten filters available. Let's maybe take one of these out to the... Oh, you can see them pretty well. Uh, so this is a type of filter that's used very commonly in Europe, especially in fry tanks and with shrimp. You can ask our staff about setting those up. Once we get our new shrimp wall up where the betas are, we will be using matten filters on those tanks. Uh, Aqua Top does have a new line of shrimp products. So these are... Environmental enrichment, spaces for the shrimp to hide, great surface area for biofilm to form. And as a reminder, we do still have ADA. We have placed another order, which should come in April or May as well. We'll include a lot more ADA soils. I believe that's probably it for our new fish products at the moment. Uh, if anyone has any questions, of course, they can reach us on Facebook or on our website which is now updated with all of our reptile and fish products and you can check on availability as well. And if you'd like, you can place orders for in-store pickup only. We are not quite ready to ship yet. Uh, that's everything for me here at Rogers and hope everyone has a healthy and safe weekend. Bye now.